let's start with A. Um, just create more space here so that I can have plenty of, you know. Okay. So A, um, we want to find the integral between 0 to pi of x plus sine 2x with respect to x. Um, so, what we shall end up with here if we integrate, let's just integrate one time, uh, one term, um, term by term. So, what we'll end up with is x squared over 2 minus integral plus actually integral of sine 2x is negative cos. So, negative cos 2x over 2. Okay. Um, and then we know that our limits will be by zero. So this is the same as uh, x squared over two minus cos two x over two, and the limits are by and zero. Okay. What we need to do next is to plug in these limits. So pi squared over 2 minus cos 2 pi over 2 minus uh, um, 0 minus cos 0 over 2. So let's see what happens. This is just pi squared over 2 minus well, cos 2 pi will be 1, so that will be a half minus. A minus and a minus will be a positive, cos 0 is 1, so um, that will be plus a half, which will give us just pi squared over 2. That's our final solution. Okay. Next question, we have the integral... 0 pi over 2 e to power 2x plus cos 3x um, dx. If we integrate that, we'll end up with um, e to power 2x over 2. Remember, integration is the inverse or reverse of differentiation. If it was differentiating, we will have multiplied this by 2, but we are integrating, we divide it by 2. Okay, just some little tricks that do help. Integral of cos is sine, so sine 3x, but instead of multiplying by 3, you divide by 3. Um, limits by over 2, 0. So, which means I'll end up with plugging this limit, e to bracket pi over 2, over 2, plus um, sine 3 multiplied by pi over 2, over 3, just big brackets here, minus uh, e to power 0 over 2, plus sine 0 over 3 which means I'll end up with e to power pi over 2 minus, um, now, sine, just not, sine uh, 3 pi over 2 is same as sine 270 degrees, which is uh, negative 1. So, what we'll end up with here is that will be negative 1, so negative a third minus um, a half, and sine 0 is just 0, so plus 0. So, our final answer will be e to the power pi over 2 minus. Uh, 
Okay, let's look at C. So the first thing that I'll do is um, integrate each term, um, term by term. So the first one will be x, the second term will be a fifth. Now the integral of second squared x over 10 is tan x over 10. And of course, uh, we divide by a tenth because it's the opposite of differentiating. Suppose you are differentiating this, we'll have multiplied by a tenth, but we are integrating, we divide by a tenth. Um, so you have five pi over two, and then you have negative five pi over two. Plug in the limits. Um, actually, before I plug in the limits, let me simplify. So x minus, that will be 2 than x over 10. And the limits are 5 pi over 2, negative 5 pi over 2. Okay. Um, I need more space here. Next is plug in the limits. So 5 pi over 2 minus 2 turn uh, okay so I have 5 pi over 2 divide by 10 minus um, negative 5 pi over 2 minus 2 turn negative 5 pi of 2 divided by 10. If we simplify that, we we'll, shall end up with um, 5 pi over 2 minus 2 turn a quarter minus negative 5 pi over 2 minus 2 tan negative um, a quarter pi. Looks better. Okay. Well, back to trigonometry, but we know that tan pi over 4 is equal to 1 and tan negative pi over 4 will be equal to negative 1. So all we need to do now is plug in whatever we have in uh, this expression. So we shall end up with uh, 5 pi over 2 minus 2 plus 5 pi over 2 minus 2, which will be um, 5 pi minus 4. That will be our final um, solution. Okay, moving on. So, back to review on uh, um, integration by substitution. So, let u be equal to, now I'll pick my substitution to be, okay, if I can let that to be u, then du over dx will be, this is an indefinite integral, we don't have any limits. So, 2x plus 1, which means that uh, dx will be du over 2x plus 1. And when we plug this back in our integral, we'll have integral of 2x plus 1 e to power u multiplied by du over 2x plus 1. This guys cancel. So we'll end up with integral of e to power u du which is just e to power u plus c. So our answer will be e to power 
x squared plus x plus c. Here's another one. Um, cotangent is cosine over sine. So this is integral of cosine x over sine x. This is actually the reciprocal of tan x. So let u be equal to sine x. du over dx will be cosine x. So our dx will be du over cos x. So our integral will be, um, and I'm using this one here, this one here. So our integral will be cos x over u multiplied by du over cos x. Obviously, these guys will cancel. So I'll end up with integral of 1 over u du which will be um, ln absolute value of u plus c. So ln sin x plus c. Good. Next one, again, substitution. So let u be x cubed minus 2. You always want to pick u to be something that will simplify with something like that, you know. You know that if you differentiate that, you get 3x squared, you know, plus z, minus 0 plus 0. So that x squared should be able to cancel with that. And those are the little things that you have to look for when you pick a substitution. Anyway, so du over dx will be 3x squared. So dx will be du for 3x squared, which means my integral will be x squared sin u multiplied by du over 3x squared. And then that and that gone. So my integral becomes sin u um, actually I can factorize out the f hat. So, sin u du. Just checking that everything is okay. Good. Which will give me a third. Now, integral of sin u is negative cos u plus c. So, a third, or just negative a third cos whatever u is, which was x cubed minus 2 plus c. Good. Um, last two questions. Let me start with the first one. So the first thing that you need to do is, of course, by substitution. This is definite integrals. So let u be equal to x squared minus 1 du over dx will be 2x which means dx will be du over 2x um, our integral now before I even work out the integral we need to change these limits um, so at x is equals to 1 u will be um, 1 minus 1, which is 0. At x is equals to 7, u will be 7 squared minus uh, 1, which will be 48. Right. So, and then we can move on and write our integral. So our integral will be integral um, 0 to 48 
to x um, multiplied by square root of u, which is u to the power a half, multiplied by uh, dx, which is du over 2x. So this and this gone. So our integral will become integral from 0 to 48 of u to power a half du, which will be um, u to power a half plus 1 over a half plus 1. And the limits are 48, 0, which will give us um, u to power 3 over 2 over 3 over 2, 48, 0. OK. Finishing this off, we'll end up with, um, so this will actually be equal to 2 over 3 into bracket 48 to power 3 over 2. Because if you plug in 0, you just end up with 0. And that will be our final answer. B. The same question. We are asked to find the integral from um, negative pi over 6 to pi uh, over 4 cos x sin x dx. The first step will be, of course, substitution. So we can let either u to be sin x or cos x. But you have to pick something that, you know, will be able to cancel at the end. Anyway, so I'll pick my u, let u to be sine x. So du over dx will be cos x, which means that dx is du over cos x. Um, so my integral will become integral, oh, before I do that, change the limits. So at x is equals to negative pi over 6, you will be sine negative pi over 6. So what you need to do is that will be sine back to trigonometry. Uh, that's negative 30, which is um, taking you back to um, this guy's 2, 1, root 3. You know that that is... Um, 60 and 30, so sin 30 will be a half. So negative sin 30 will be negative a half. And um, at uh, x is equal to pi over 4, just take this out, um, u will be sin pi over 4. And back to those triangles again, you know, pi over 4 is uh, basically sine 45. So 45, 1, 1 over 2, which will be 1 over root 2. All right, so we have our new limits. So means that our integral will be... Um, at negative pi over 6, you have negative, so negative a half, 1 over root 2. Um, okay. We'll have cos x, because there's nothing that has happened, multiplied by u, multiplied by dx, which is du of uh, cos x. And of course, you can see that these guys will cancel. So I'll end up with integral negative a half. 1 over root 2, u du. So, which will be u squared over 2, 
1 over 2, negative a half. Um, so my next step will be just plugging in um, this uh, limits. So start with 1 over 2 squared over 2. Um, minus negative a half squared over 2, which means I'll end up with um, a half over 2 minus uh, a quarter over 2. This is same as a quarter minus an eighth, which is just an 